If you guys are looking for the fastest, safest, cheapest coins on the internet, go to my sponsor, use code DOG for a 15% discount on checkout. Today, we're going to be talking about the best abilities and the best chemistries, in my opinion. I'm only going to talk about the things that I feel like help me win games. And I also want to talk about the things that could help you guys win the games. So the first thing we're going to talk about, man, is your play style. You have to tweak your abilities and your chemistries to your play style. A lot of people don't really speak on this. They just tell you like, what's the best ability, the best chemistry and all that kind of stuff. But it really work, It really goes with your play style. We're gonna start with the offensive line. I think the offensive line, the best ability you wanna use on your offensive alignment is gonna be secure protector. You can use post up. A lot of people like to come out of the, roll out of the pockets and then you can end up double teaming that out, that end. So you'll be able to get outside of the pocket really easily. Even though you'll have like a tight end and then you'll have a tackle, if he has post up, he'll be able to double team that outside defender really easily. Secure protector is really good for like strong block shit. It helps you with like people who have edge threat elite, people who have like any type of pass rushing archetype, secure protector is gonna help. Edge protector is also good for people who have edge threat elite. Now secure protector kind of works, but edge protector works also. So I just don't know which one's better. Sometimes edge protector works better than secure protector. It just depends. I mean, it all works differently in my opinion. Threat detector just shows you when they're blitzing, but for three AP, I don't know if it's kind of worth it. I like to have edge protector and I like to have secure protector just so I have some type of protection when people are, are rushing their like outside linebackers and DNs off the edge. As far as offensive linemen, the offensive linemen that I normally activate are gonna be my left and right tackle. Sometimes if I'm running into people who start to have like their D tackle activated, I normally just double team the D tackle and keep my left and right tackle just activated. So it works well. Matchup nightmare is super good, bro. Matchup nightmare is super good. A lot of people don't run linebackers, but for some reason, matchup nightmare works against free safeties a lot of times too. So that's why I really like it. Obviously, you can run tight end apprentice. That's so you guys can get additional hot routes. Slotomatic. I mean, it's decent, but I don't know. I would much rather just run route technician, which a lot of tight ends can't get, but some tight ends can get. Like Gronk gets it at a 95, so he can get it when I get his new car. But you know, those are some of the best ones. Also, something that is really good to tank. If you can get tank on one of your tight ends, tank is extremely good because when you're running like an out route. Let's say somebody's running man coverage, right? And you're running an out route and then they try to hit stick you because you got tank, you break off that tackle. Nine times out of 10, you got an easy touchdown if they have nobody over the top. So it's just some, something to think about if you guys are running a uh, tank, it can help you make big plays. Receivers all have diff different archetypes. Every single player has a different archetype, but we're just gonna talk about what I think is the best. So off the rip, man, route technician is top, top, one honestly i just think it's the best one since a lot of people run man coverage this year route technician is a must on your receivers also something that's really good is going to be grab and go grab and go is going to be really good if you're running like a lot of corner routes or maybe like just out routes in general and you're trying to catch the ball and run up field it's like a baby human joystick sometimes i mean i i can kind of consider it as a baby human joystick obviously human joystick is the best for receivers if you can get it on it uh, wide receiver apprentice is good too if you guys want to change the hot route playmaker is insane absolutely insane but it's four ap so it's like is it worth the four ap i don't know but it is something that's absolutely good too now if you do have your receiver in the slot Slotomatic is pretty good too, but I would just rather run route technician because you got quicker uh, cuts while running routes. This one has better cuts and catching on short sl slot routes. So if he runs like a corner, I don't know if that's really gonna work. As far as that, I feel like those are the only things that are really dominant as at the receiver position. I hope I didn't miss anything. Obviously, if I if you feel like I missed something, put it down in the comment section. We'll talk about it in the comment section. Running back is interesting. It just depends on your archetype. Like I said, it just depends on how you play. For me, I like reach for it. I think reach for it is super good because your players just do like insane animations when you don't even really expect it. So reach for it is really good. Um, something else that you can run on running backs is tank. Tank is good too. Human joystick is great. Balance beam, I don't really see running backs stumbling as much no more. I feel like the higher their like agility got, they, they really don't stumble as much. So that's not really something that I would probably put on there. Quarterback has a bunch of different, you know, if, it depends on your archetype. I think running quarterbacks don't necessarily need anything. 
You can run read option with a quarterback and he has nothing on it. Let's just say you got like uh, Lamar Jackson. He could have no abilities on him and he's still going to perform pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and talk about like field general passing quarterbacks, right? Pass lead elite is good, right? Also, hot route master. In my opinion, it's a must. I always have to have hot route master on. Set feet lead. Set feet lead works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on who's the quarterback in my opinion. You can't go wrong with gunslinger. If your quarterback doesn't have gunslinger, it's like, why are you even running the quarterback? So gunslinger is a must for a majority of the quarterbacks. Escape artists don't really see it much. Protected, protected may work. It may work. But then if you're running abilities on your office alignment already, I don't think protected is really worth it. Middle linebackers, I'm not really going to talk about because nobody really runs middle linebackers. A lot of people run free safeties at middle linebacker and safety. So we'll talk about safeties, right? We'll talk about in the box, out of the box. My opinion, out of the box, you really don't need no abilities on them. But if you did, Acrobat. Acrobat is goading. Acrobat is going to go crazy. If you guys are running man coverage, Acrobat is going to go crazy. I promise you. Don't Nothing is really worth it in my opinions. I think DBs play good enough you know, non-activated or non-abilityed up that you can run them with nothing. Now, if we're in the box, we talking about in the box safety, let's go over to Jamal Adams. There's a bunch of things you can run on him. I think lurker is important. You need to have lurker on anybody you're playing inside of the box. I don't believe Jamal Adams gets lurker. That's one of, um, yeah, he doesn't get lurker, but if you can have lurker on somebody, you should. Film study is going to be freaking crazy when it comes out, but that's 7 AP. Holy crap. Definitely Lurker. Lurker is going to be goaded. Um, as far as anything else, I would say, you know, Acrobat, of course. Enforcer, you can. I just don't know. Like, the abilities, they raise the abilities so much that it's kind of it's kind of like, dang, you got to really pick and choose. So I would definitely have Lurker just because Lurker, you can have him in a zone, and he'll basically be playing like a mid-read, but really like he's playing five, 10 yards beyond that mid read. So, you know, lurkers are a good thing to have. Uh, you could run one step ahead on some of your corners. We can go, we can go straight into corners after this because I did just talk about corners. So let's go straight into corners. And corners is kind of like uh, free safeties and safeties. If you got good enough free safeties, if you got good enough DBs, you should just run acrobat or nothing. I, I don't think DBs really need anything. If you want to run one step ahead, this will help you if you're running a lot of press man, but you don't have to. It's not something that you have to do. So, I mean, as far as right now, those are kind of the best things. As the year goes on, things are going to come up and become better than others because the game's going to constantly be getting tweaked. You can honestly throw on film study if you can have somebody like Charles Wilson, they can have a film study. So you could do that like that. But D tackles off the rip inside stuff. I don't care what D tackle it is, inside stuff, right? If you have a D tackle that's fast enough to run inside stuff, do it just do it and as far as outside linebackers in my opinion i'm starting to see some like like i like defensive rally on certain players you know what i'm saying certain players that just are nasty without abilities they can get i could put defensive rally on them and then all of my d line just get busy on third and fourth down right but people who are not necessarily like the best so as far as challenge zones i run under pressure under pressure is extremely good in my opinion because it makes the quarterbacks throw bad pass. You get a lot of throw out of sack animations with under pressure. You can also run edge threat elite, but the only reason why I don't run edge threat elite as much is because a lot of people run secure protector. So they run secure protector and edge protector. So at that point, I'm basically just wasting an ability. So I like to run under pressure because even if my outside linebacker or DN doesn't get a great pass rush, he'll still be able to get some under pressure. So then it makes the quarterback throw an errant pass or potentially a throw out of sack. Okay, so that's pretty much all the abilities I feel like. If, if I miss something, let me know. I wanna go into what I run as far as like, you know, chemistries. I think personally, if you pass the ball, go deep is goaded. That extra throw power is great. The extra catching is great. The extra deep route running is great. The extra break sack is great. The extra deep throw accuracy is great. The extra throw under pressure is great. Deep, go deep is goaded in my opinion. That's the best thing for me to run. Lockdown. You got to run lockdown. There's no reason you shouldn't be running lockdown. I mean, the corners are getting a lot better. If you got the best of the best corners at every position, I would say you don't need lockdown. You could probably run pass rush, but you do want to make sure if you don't have the best of the best, run lockdown, man. They're giving, you given they giving out free, man, free zone, free press, free catch. You feel me? This is easy. Run lockdown, right? Now, as far as pass rush or run stuff, 
that's just on you, right? So if your defense is built block shed heavy, don't run, run stuff, run pass rush, because then you guys are going to get pass rush moves. You're going to get power move. You're going to get finesse move. You're going to get impact blocking. Because your players are already high block shed. But if it's vice versa, where your players are high power move, high finesse move, low block shed, then run, run stuff so you guys can get that extra block shed. I just think for my defense right now, we have a lot of block shed, so we need more power move. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I run more moves than I do. Um, that's why I run pass rush over run stuff, right? So as far as teams, obviously you want to have whatever team works for you, man. I'm running the Patriots theme. It's not even max, but... It's, you know, one plus speed is good enough for me as of right now. Sprinter is obviously goaded. Plus two acceleration, plus two speed, negative two strength, negative two agility, negative two change of direction. Now you could run a uh, brawler. So the negatives about brawler is you're going to get negative acceleration, negative agility, and one change of direction. So you could run brawler. You would just have, what, minus two acceleration, one agility, one jumping, and one change of direction. Whereas sprinter, you have negative two agility, negative two strength. I feel like sprinter is a little bit better because you don't lose your change of direction and you don't lose your jumping for receivers. I'm cool with losing the two strength. The agility is like, ah, whatever, it's fine. You don't really see it, but uh, that's really all I got for as far as chemistries and abilities. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going to see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.